Hello Scamper Teams. This is a quick lesson in how to use your temperature and humidity meter. This is what it looks like. The sensors are in this little compartment at the top. So this is the bit that you've got to be very careful um, to look after. When you're making your temperature and humidity measurements, it's really important that you don't stand somewhere where the sun is shining directly on this part because then the sensors will get too hot. So it's probably best to find somewhere to make your weather observations that's slightly in the shade, but where you've got good space around you. And what we're trying to measure is the air temperature and not the temperature because of the sunshine heating up the compartment. This is a fairly simple instrument to use. It's got an on button, turn it on and the numbers come up on the screen. At the top, we've got the relative humidity, which is what RH stands for in percent. So it's just telling us the percentage reading of humidity in the air. Obviously, if it was 100%, you'd be very, very wet. And if it was 0%, you'd probably be in a desert. The other reading is the air temperature. So if you're in the shade and you've got nice air flow through this compartment, this will give you the temperature of the air and not the temperature because the sun is beating down on you and making the sensor too hot. That's all you need to know really, except to make sure that when you switch it on, it is reading in degrees Celsius and not in Fahrenheit. You shouldn't need to change that, but if you did need to change it, you press this button. It's got a backlight in case it is a little bit difficult to see, but I think you'll be mainly making your readings in daylight, so that shouldn't be a problem. And you can freeze the readings to get the maximum and minimum readings during the time that you were making your measurements. So that's all you really need to know about this, except if you need to change the batteries, it's quite simple and straightforward. There's a compartment here, you slide it open and inside it's got three AAA batteries. So just keep an eye on the battery use and make sure you replace them if they start going low. And really, really importantly, switch off the instrument when you've finished using it so that we don't have to change the batteries too often.